Hello everybody, this is Kai, and I'm here with a brand new Let's Play. This time if it's of a game that I really enjoy, Need for Speed Carbon, on the PC. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Okay, the load is complete now. We're gonna go to Career, and we're gonna start a new career. Oh god, what's with the frame rate drops? I have V-Sync enabled, which is why I want to prevent all the frame rate drops, but the frame rate just takes a huge dip, even when I put lock frame rate in place, and it should be at a solid 60. Sometimes I don't understand fraps, not to mention the file sizes are ridiculously huge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> okay, so we're on the roads here. There's a nice little BMW, that's our car. I'll never forget that night. The night that I left Palamont City. And the craziness I went through. I can only imagine what approaches me. After what happened last night. Hmm. Sorry. Sure thing. Don't disappoint. <laughs> you know I don't disappoint, pal. There it is. We're going up against three but E crew members here, or crew leaders. That was Kenji, here's Angie, and here's Wolf. Uh, and there's my ride right there in the Supra. Hey, bruh. I'll never forget it. The second we hit that starting line, it went bullet fast. The rush feeling going over a large amount of miles per hour in a nice ripped up Supra. The feeling felt great, dangerous, and all over the place. I'd never forget it, too. And then we were nearing the finish line. We were getting very close. I got the feeling that I knew I was going to win. What I didn't expect was something unexpected. This. EPMs nearly hit electromagnetic pulses nearly hit all the other cars except for mine They were cops. It's obvious. They were here to bust the race uh, Ace here they surrounded everyone except for my car They arrested all the other crew leaders uh, I Tried to get out of here as fast as I could I looked for Nikki and stuff Unfortunately, it was too late Somebody grabbed her. I escaped through a back alleyway. Little did I know, there was no money. It was a bunch of papers made to look the way to the bag. Between the heat and the cruise, you need to walk away. Take my car. Go, get out of here. So I took his Supra. And now I'm back in Palamon. I can only imagine what he has to say to me. And I have a feeling it's not gonna be nice. If I have to be his work boy, then so be it. After all, I've been out of town for a long time. What I didn't expect was not having to run through that run through with my BMW. Little did I know, some unknown Corvette was tailing me. I didn't notice it until the last minute, and when I did, it was Cross. Hey, guess who's back? Ah, oh, damn it! Not this tool. I thought again as I tried to escape him. And Lord knows I tried to escape him. <sighs> oh God! Now let's get back into the actual game. Ugh. Gah! Oh dear. <sighs> Shit! Can't this guy just leave me alone for once? I was running through the canyon canyons at over a hundred miles per hour, trying to outrun him as fast as possible. I could only imagine so much going on in so little time. I was forgetting about what Darius would have said to me. Rather, I was focusing on my own life, trying to get away from Cross. He had previously tried to hunt me down in Rockport for illegally street racing after I rode to the top of the blacklist. I escaped at the last minute. I don't know, why would he want to follow me right now? What I didn't know was something unexpected to happen. As I ripped through on my BMW, I ran through all of this. And then I ran into a truck, knocking over some pipes. 
they almost crushed my car and almost totaled it. And then I was faced with Cross. <sighs> oh god, no. Oh god, no. I've been fine, Cross. It's time to settle a little score from Rock. You just can't let that go now, could you? Then, out of nowhere, some red cars rolled up. It was Darius and his crew. He was driving a red Audi. I don't remember asking for your help, Cross. And he couldn't even say Cross's name right. Yes, you think you can bounty hunt Silverton without my approval? It's Cross. Now this guy's from out of town. <sighs> A long time, kid. He recognized me all right. Even without this is bounty. 150k. Oh please. My bounty was worth way David, take care of this guy. Like I said, my bounty was worth way more than that. So that's what you've been up to. Yep, old pal. That's what I've been up to. Then a Ford GT out of nowhere rolled up onto the scene. Nikki. Oh, and boy was she going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. And boy, was she pissed at me, all right. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, yeah, she needed to relax. Cross rolled out of the scene since he had no more business here. I still don't know what happened that night you took off. No, we didn't. But I do know you're into me now for some serious cash. Uh-huh. I knew... Things have been getting a little too close for comfort around here with all these crews <sighs> battling for new territory. Oh, yeah. I think I could use someone with your skills to help me out. Yep, I was his errand I boy. I bailed you out of a serious jam twice now. I see. You Time for you to return the favor. Yep, he wanted Thank me you. to be his errand boy with racing. You say you show your old friend the ropes? And she wasn't gonna be too happy. You got a better idea? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then let's get him started right away. Of course. Hopefully I was in for something fun. Don't disappoint. I know. Not again. <laughs> you know I don't disappoint. Nikki obviously wasn't too happy to see me, but she was at least nice enough to get me started. We rolled in here to what looked like some lot with three cars. <sighs> yes, my BMW was totaled, so I had to get a new one. I swear Cross hated me so much. Thanks for waiting yep, up. Yep, good friend of Nikki showed up. His name was Neville. Hey, uh, who's the third wheel? Doesn't matter. He was what? what? Darius made all these cars available to you. Mm -hmm. Pick one, whichever one you want. Sure thing. Hey, I uh, replied. If there's Anyways, three your car was totaled while escaping from Cross. Select the car class you want to start with in your career. The choice will be determined which car and parts you unlock when you conquer territory. We had three classes to choose from: muscle cars. They generally had good acceleration but lacked in handling, essentially. Exotic cars. They're more of the all-around type cars and stuff. They have a bit of a good mix of everything. And tuners, which generally have bad acceleration, but really good handling. Definitely great for drifting, I'd have to say. Choosing which car would be tough, but ultimately, I wanted to go ahead and just give it, give it a chance. I picked out the beautiful RX-8. I was a huge Mazda fan, so this was one I was definitely willing to go with. <sighs> Alright, damn, that was a lot of narrative. If I'm going to be narrating like this, I'm going to have one hell of a good time. Anyways, trying to get reaffiliated with it was not a good idea. But I had no choice. From there, we were ready... Yeah, Neville was a bit of a doofus, but he was still a cool guy regardless. Nikki's good. Just listen to her. And I'll stick around and I'll help out. Make sure she's not too hard on ya. Uh-huh. But she'd already be hard enough on me, considering I abandoned her. Okay, come on, let's just get this over with. Yeah, good idea is what I thought. Okay, before we begin, I need to quickly configure the controls here. This won't take but a second. Okay, handbrake is space. I want speed breaker to be X. Okay, I want my NOS to be my left alt. I want to be shift up. Okay, yes, shift down. Okay, the shift up. I just wanted to fix that key and yeah, right control. Oh yeah, okay, the rest of the controls are good. I just wanted to fix that up here. So, 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Alright, you have to press the activate crew member button, which was right control. I see. As I thought. Alright, I activated my crew again. Where I. Okay, I basically hit the control lag button and boom, she knocks out Neville. Yes, it is. I could see. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna activate this right about now. That's how you draft. Simple as that. The last of the three types are scouts. And scouts are like having eyes everywhere. As soon as the race starts, they'll find every back alley, side street, or any kind of route that's safe. I see. Let's give it a try. See if you can keep up. Okay, and this will only work when we actually find a shortcut. So, for the most part, yeah, there's a shortcut right up ahead as you can, that the scout just found. I see. I see. I see. That's what she said. And we were done with teaching me the base of the ropes. Well, the crew part was mostly necessary. But most of the base racing stuff I knew how to handle. I mean, heck, I was really good in Rockport. There, that's all you need to get started. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Later, Neville. Well, yes, it is. You me. Good you idea, I thought. But I thought it would be in for something I never wanted to put up with. Something I thought I'd be done for when I left for Rockport. When I left from Rockport. So you've been gone a while. Yes. Yes, we're all battling for territory. Then out of... Then out of nowhere... Then out of nowhere, a cop showed up. They were both talking with radio cop talk that I would take me a lot of work to understand. And trust me, I didn't want to have to put up with any of the cops. I had a hard time with them in Rockport. Nice... Mm -hmm. From there, Neville and I split up. I got your back. I'll lose the heat, stay on Neville and I both split up. Trust me. But little did I know, I was in for a ride. Oh god no, what am I gonna do? Control every be advised. We have code six driver aggressively in eighty custody. Units request a clear non essential call I try I try to stay cool on the wheel. I try to stay cool on the wheel as possible. Trying to ram the trying to ram the cops into traffic as soon as possible. But that only didn't work. That only seemed to try to get them to gain me the lead. They had to get the jump on me instead of actually crashing them and helping me. I was trying to speed up as fast as I could because I didn't want to have to put up with it. I was ripping it up in a Mazda. Out of nowhere though, I almost crashed into some water barrels. I still had a couple vehicles that I needed to take out, so I ran, tried to run one off the side of the road. One of them crashed into it, and I just ran another one out and spinned them out of control. I knew I was done. Well, almost. I needed to find a hiding spot fast before they found out about me, and then having to deal with this all over again. I quickly looked to find a hiding spot, being afraid, trying to, well, almost. I tried to stay as cool as possible without trying to have, like, such a big deal. I speed through the high, nice. Although, little did I know, this was going to be all over soon. 
and I successfully evaded the cops. Then I got a call from Neville. Okay, I'll meet you there, I said. Then, the safe house wasn't far from where I was heading to find a nearby hiding spot. So I rip it up as I tour, as I look at Silverton, and I think, wow, a lot has changed. <sighs> so, as I rip it up in a nice monster, I look for this safe house. I make a turn here into downtown Palamont. I keep driving this car, and eventually I get to the safe house, which is just down the street from where I'm at. Essentially, if I only could. Oh, there it is, the safe house. I saw Neville right ahead waiting for me. I roll in here to the safe house. And he informs me what it's for, and what it's good for. <sighs> he pulls up, and holds up, in his M Speed 3. There you I see. Safe house. You can use it to fix your car, mm -hmm. chill out when the heat's on. You need a wingman, and yes, it is. Like Let me show you inside. So, I knew he was going to be a part of my crew. I needed a crew anyways. From what I've learned, crew is what Silverton was all racing is all about. You need crews. He was also a good fixer and a good blocker. He's joined my crew. Driving a Mazda, Mazda Speed 3. I really was hoping I could. We needed to design a cool logo. So I looked for a cool one that I thought would be great. I wanted to call my crew the Wonderbolts, considering that I was a brony, and that only the Wonderbolts were awesome. So I needed a good logo for that. So we found a good logo eventually after some time. I'm though. Granted, it took a while, but considering I was just new, shouldn't have been surprised. I went to I chose the Eagle Crest logo. And I called our crew Wonderbolts. Because we're fast. Well, not yet, essentially, but we will be fast. Alright, here's a tutorial screen. This whole city's a battleground. All the crews are always fighting over territories. Just check with your map. Yes, it is. Going on. The minor crews push and pull. But you'll see that most of Palmont City is divided up between Kenji's Bushido, Wolf's TFK, I see. and the 21st Street crew. Okay. Your rep? Yes. Okay, you have no rep. But you win a few races and you'll end up owning the area. And that's yes. what build up your rep. Once the crew bosses see you as a threat, mm -hmm. they'll probably come looking for you. If they challenge you, then you got a shot at taking over the would mean that I would own the city. Alright, here we were at the territory map screen, where all the races were showing. There were plenty of them. There was a zone with three races going on. The zone heat was one. Meaning that it wasn't too bad to race in that zone. The higher the heat zone, the higher the chance that the cops would show up in racing. There was only about one, two, three, four, five zones and still on owns in what looked like was controlled by Bushido. Okay, technically only three of them were controlled by Bushido. Two of them were blank. But next time we're going to work on taking out Bushido crew. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next let's play of car a of neat part in the let's play of need for speed carbon peace